All right, boys, I've been driving for like three hours. This is really random, but I'm just driving. I saw something on Facebook Marketplace and I'm going to get it. So that's what we're doing right now. That's what this video is about. Let's see what happens. Five minutes later. Whoa. No shots. No shots. No, no. <laughs> if I sing, it's cool. Yeah, I feel like I'm the Messiah, a rebirth of creatures who bowing to the most high. They knees hurt from praying to the what's his face, begging to be blessed. There's something above me, I'm just a god of what's left. Cut the check. So what we got right here is a 1995 Honda SR50 Elite. Let's go, boys. She honestly looks pretty fresh. I really can't complain about the condition that this thing is in. There's like obviously some cracks here and there, right? But it's a super old bike and I got it for a really good deal. So I'm not even mad about it, you know? Like I'll rock with whatever it looks like. I'm gonna try and clean it up a little bit, but this thing is just gonna be a ripper. Like that's all I wanna do. Keep it pretty stock, keep it reliable, and just rip this thing. That's the plan for the summer. I've never owned a bike with keys before, but I've had this thing for about five hours and I've lost them five times. So I already know that that's gonna be a problem, but. Ooh, that's fresh. This thing is a ripper, dude, watch this. That was cold as ever too. One thing I don't know that works yet is this start button right here because there's no battery in the bike right now. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put a battery in it, see if the electric start works. Let's do it. God was gone for a year off the fructose, contemplating putting fucking bullets in the suit coats. Who knows? Oh my gosh, there's a bolt on it, boys. SMH, I thought it just clipped in. Yeah, that'll do it right there. Dummy. Go duel with a wizard. Wave a magic wand, turn summer into winter. I worship from warships, play PGA courses. Hit Okay, yeah, I figured it out. At first I thought it wasn't working. I was clicking the start, it wasn't working, but I noticed that the brake light is on. It's kind of working. Figure it out, you gotta pull the brake and hit the start, so. I seriously can't believe that I did this, but I am the owner of a Honda Elite, man, an SR50. This is a 1995 Honda Elite. This thing is so sick. Don't ask me why, but I've just been infatuated with small CC two-strokes recently. Anywhere from my moped to scooters to 115 CC two-stroke street bikes they ride in Columbia. Like, I don't know. I just love two-strokes. I've been riding the 450 a lot on this channel, so, you know, everyone complains. Why is your name two-stroke J if you're riding the 450? But, guys, two-strokes are where my heart is and i don't know what it is about these small cc two strokes but they're just so fun man they're just light bikes fun to throw around so this right here is like i said a 1995 honda elite 50 the thing is not in amazing shape but honestly with a bike like this you don't want something in amazing shape i totally prefer to have a little bike like this that i can just thrash around and have fun with and not worry about messing it up like there's scratches on it you can definitely tell it's been dropped here and there we got some cracked plastics but overall like if you look at it from maybe Maybe 10 feet away. Gee, I mean, it looks good, right? The headlight is all clear. It's got all the turn signals. Everything works. My favorite hit on this bike is this USA right here. Gotta love it. NRA, man, I don't know who owned this before me, but don't run up on him that's all i'm saying this is one of the first bikes i've ever had where everything just works on it it just works good i have a key i've never had a key before look at this cockpit man we got the gauges looking crispy and clean two mirrors the first thing i normally do on my bikes is take off the mirrors but something about the scoot with the double mirror action something about it bro the vibe is just there same thing with this basket bro no shot i'm taking that thing off but look at this we got two keys plop that drawn in there click it to on hold the brake in i learned that last night Turn that to run. Oh my, you probably can't even tell it's on right now, but did you see that? Oh, sweet baby Jesus, so good. Gosh, this wind, dude, every time I come to this lot, it's so windy. It's so annoying when I'm trying to record. Beep, beep. Horn works, turn signals. Oh my gosh, high beam, low beam. It's crispy, man. Something about these scoots. I don't know what it is, but unlike my moped, those mopeds, you kind of need to soup them up a little bit if you want to have a lot of fun with them. You can still wheelie them when they're 50 cc's, don't get me wrong. But, you know, everybody always wants a little bit more power. But this thing, I hopped on this thing. This is a stock 50 cc. Man, this thing surprised me with how much power it had. All right, watch this, watch this, watch this. Flip around, run, hold the brake. I can't tell you how amazing that is. And these scoots, man, they're just more robust. Look at me. Oh. 
Oh. I don't know, bro. Should I make this an off-road scoot? Curb hop. Oh. Look at the pickup that this thing has. Ooh. Oh. Nah. Bro. I think if this is accurate, I'm topping out at about 30 right now. What surprises me about this is how the clutch engages. The clutch just engages at a higher RPM, so it's automatically in the power band ready to rock. Oh yeah, dude, it's so fun and it's so smooth. I feel like a MotoGP racer on this thing. The handling is actually incredible. <laughs> Woo! I wanna take this thing to the track, man. Take some corners and it does wheelies. Something about a small bike that does wheelies, man. Man, is it fun. And it just coasts, bro. It's a grade A cruiser, man. I want to take this thing to the beach, wear some sandals, maybe no shirt, who knows, some trunks, and just cruise, man. That's how this thing makes me feel. This is just a summer vibe right here. I'm really amazed at how easily it pops up for being a stock 50. You can really tell how easy it pops up when you just go from a standstill. You don't even have to use your feet on this thing. It just... It's so nice. This thing really just blew my mind in stock form. Like, it's incredible, and I, I kind of want to leave it stock, just mob it. The problem with these two strokes is once you start to mod them and make them go a lot faster, then there's a lot of issues that start to happen. They can be reliable, but the more you do to your engine, no matter what engine it is, the less reliable it's gonna get. You know, that's just kind of how it is. So something about this thing just being in stock form, we got 3,571.45 miles. Something about it just being in stock form and me knowing that it's gonna be good, it's gonna be okay, is really nice. Nice. I need to learn how to control my weight on this thing and uh, take turns and stuff. It's kind of why I'm at the lot. I just want to get my body weight down and really get nice at wheeling this thing because I can see myself weaving the turns through some cones, man, in the streets. You guys know what it is. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very confused right now because all that GoPro footage yesterday at the lot, I rode for like three hours. This thing was just running immaculate. Perfect. And now all of a sudden today, I go to turn it on. So yeah, I don't know what happened, but somehow overnight it just lost spark. It was running rich. This thing is actually oil injected. I'm thinking it might have just fouled the spark plug. I don't know how that happens overnight, but that's what I'm going to try and do is just test the spark first and go from there. Only difficult thing is I've never taken apart something like this. It's going to be a little bit of a journey just trying to figure out how all these body panels come off and stuff, so I don't know. All right, so it turns out Honda's awesome, and they put this little access door in here, so you can just pull this away and get to the spark plug right there. Got the spark plug out, let's check it for spark. Like a swordsmith, have her eating, eat bills like corn chips, yeah. How you defeat a motherfucker with somebody on a headshot, turn them sweet and sour like a horny palmer. I don't know about you guys, but this is like 20 times more complicated than any car I've ever looked at, bro. This looks intense. I don't know what to do. It's like 40 connectors and plugs coming off of this thing. Okay, so what I found out so far is that this petcock over here, it works with vacuum. So this bottom line pulls vacuum from basically the intake manifold. And once that gets vacuum, it opens up the petcock and lets fuel flow through here. Basically, we're not getting fuel flow. So I'm going to take this vacuum line off and literally just like... You know, get some vacuum in there, see if the fuel will flow. So I'm gonna try that. Niggas flexing on that sus 
shit. Richard Simmons can't stop on what you giving. Start with body blows, get to be the head shot. Toss the Glock, flee the scene with red socks. Track killer nigga, that Manila nigga. Your boy could probably feeling better if I'm chilling with you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, back at the lot, back at the lot. I totally expected there to be more people here today because this morning I was working on this thing, trying to get it back running, which was a very random problem. I kind of missed out on the lot festivities for today, but guys, look at me. I got shorts and short sleeves and t-shirts and oh man, it's a nice day, bro. You can feel the summertime starting to poke through, man. Like coughing up flame from my unfiltered sink. I'm the illest spitter, a Dutch or swisher. You always want bigger. Turn it up, nigga. Knife wonder. Beats don't like blunt guts, nigga. Ugh. Other than this thing not starting earlier, dude, this thing can take a beating. I've been throwing it around for the two days I've been riding it. The frame and everything, suspension, is pretty resilient for what I've been doing to it. This is most dope, baby. What else could you want? Fuck with that bottom shelf. Nah, choose up. Max, show me how to... Oh, my gosh, dude. This thing's moving around like a freaking flag, dude, in the wind. Jeez, I hate it so much. I hate it. I was really hoping I was going to be able to get some third-person footage of me doing wheelie today you know make a little cool edit to reveal this thing but I still think this is a solid first video for this bike I mean there's a lot of potential here you can mod these things to go 80 miles per hour if you want but I want to keep this thing stock and just learn how to get really good at riding it stock so that way when I'm ready to mod it I'm the freaking best scooter rider of all time that's my goal oh oh look at this angle bro okay Okay, this is sick. Oh, whoa. Dude, these things are so fun, man. I love the fact that you can go under 10, 15 miles an hour and just have the time of your life. I just love doing different things, man. I don't want to stick to one type of bike, one type of riding. I want to get good at everything, so. Change my life in two months. Tell my girl take our life insurance because I do stuff. Yeah, I do stuff. Yeah, I do stuff. Oh. No shots. Yeah, I do stuff. Yeah, I do stuff. No shots. Yeah, no, no, no. All of my partners ripped it, it's like light behind bars Whenever we start a sentence In crunch time we play the game like it's Olympics Niggas be flexing in the booth with a thought we were some gymnasts uh, And that's without warming up, just raising the ball Most don't remember music, my click we taking it far Got ties with the upper skies Practice aviation, all my people's trying to reach billboards and new vacations You're definitely gonna see this thing mobbing through the streets this summer It's a total summer vibe I'm ready for some nice weather to stick around Please stay, please stay, don't snow again, please I'm tired of 40 degrees, I'm tired of 30 degrees man come on please mr sun okay thank you thank you hope you guys are excited about this bike that's all for this video my name is two star j thanks for watching i love you and goodbye so start hating if you wanna it's nothing new to us the extra shit they doing and they pulling it ain't cool to us all them stunts all them